Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the film Play 9 from Outer Space. In the beginning of the film, we can see some people mourning someone who had just passed away. And then, after a while, we can see some flying saucers which show it up. And those flying saucers, they came to Earth because people from another planet they wanted to prevent the earth people from creating a weapon that could destroy the entire universe which is a plot that makes sense because world war ii had been over less than 10 years before there were the atomic bombings in hiroshima and nagasaki and the overall fear that those recently created atomic bombs could destroy the earth so even though the film was poorly produced and it has a very low budget vibe there is some meaning into it then we can see that a pilot he had seen some flying saucers with his own eyes but the army prevented him from speaking because in the era there was a kind of conspiracy theory that uh, the authorities could have seen some UFOs and maybe they were denying this to the general public and then he leaves his wife alone for a while he wanted her to go to her mother's house but she refused it and then there were some extraterrestrial creatures after her because those people from other planets they wanted to implement the plane 9 on earth and the plane 9 was to resurrect the dead so they could create a kind of army of people who had recently passed away to destroy the earth in case people didn't want to listen to the warnings about this weapon and then this woman called paula she was chased and then she almost became one of those people who were resurrected a police officer wasn't as lucky and he became one of those people then we can see an actress who had a very iconic appearance she was silent all along her nickname was vampira and she was very famous at the time and she appeared throughout the film didn't talk at all which bears a resemblance to some actresses of the silent era especially theda Barra and it was the last screen appearance of Bella Lugosi even though the footages of Lugosi weren't originally made for the film but they were derived from some unfinished, pro uh, unfinished projects of Ed Wood he inserted those footages into the film because after all Lugosi was a successful actor and it would be good to attract popularity for this low budget film and then the weapons of the earth they would be useless to kill those extraterrestrial creatures and then after a while um, some people got to enter the flying saucer and then one of those extraterrestrial creatures he was killed he was uh, he was a little bit beaten with something then he fainted and then after a while we can see that the flying saucer exploded so the people in those flying saucer passed away it's interesting that even though those people came from another planet they could die like everyone on earth another thing that is very interesting in the production of this film is that the extraterrestrials looked like human beings 
we don't see much makeup to make them look differently from earthlings which is something very interesting and we can see that uh, many things happen around a graveyard the scenery doesn't change too much because after all it was a low budget film but as i have said before the plot does make sense because we can see in the vibe of the of the era those things of going to other planets extraterrestrials fear of uh, a weapon that could destroy the earth and there is something that is almost revolutionary in this plot is that they show that the biggest danger to earth was the behavior of its own inhabitants not people who came from other planets because after all those people who came from another planet they wanted to warn the governments of the earth they wanted to be heard that people here from the earth could create weapons that could destroy everything and then only if the governments didn't want to listen to them then those extraterrestrial creatures they would have to exterminate the earth with this army of dead people something they, that they also mentioned is that those army of the resurrected people that they didn't think because they were dead but if they were living again weren't they supposed to think again and they said something interesting in the dialogue that uh, it's amazing that people who think in the earth who have the ability to think that they are very afraid of people who do not think so it's an interesting dialogue to say that uh, often intelligent people they are afraid of people who are more ignorant and something like that so it became a classic of science fiction and it has a very B film vibe it's interesting because we can see some iconic actings i don't mean that they were good they were iconic perhaps iconic in the sense of being exaggerated but the director really had very sophisticated ideas for the film but no money for them but he tried to make them anyway and Ed Wood he had worked with Bela Lugosi for many years in many low budget films which turned out to be his last films and it's interesting because it was basically one of the last if not the last director to give an opportunity to elderly Bela Lugosi to keep working and it's a very nice film interesting of course that it's seen it's the symbol of an era so it represents that era and it's not supposed to age well that's part of its character but it's a nice historical witnesses of course it's not something to be taken very seriously the film has very serious limitations but it's a witnesses of how much human beings can make with not too much money that's all for now folks i hope you enjoyed this video see you